I censored the name of the gentleman as to not give him attention and also so that he doesn't consider that this is harassment because I know people that uh, get criticism online nowadays, they run to the Trust and Safety Council and they go, Mommy, Mommy, evil Romanian troll is criticizing me. Ban him, Mommy, ban him. Right? So I don't want that. Uh, but we can call him he, him. This is what it's in his pronouns. It's him. Very important. Okay, like uh, this is the actual identity. The, the name of the person doesn't even matter because their opinions are uh, aligned with the consensus. Uh, the only thing that a person gets to choose now is the identity. He, him. So anyway, right. What we're those chads. I love it when they use big words like chad. It tells me literally everything I need to know about their personality, like their ideology, their, their views. I know everything. It's just by saying one word. How do I do that? It's magic, isn't it? It's also interesting. Like, normal people do not even know what the chat is. It's like the most bizarre insult. Like, unless you're terminally online and on the left, you're probably not even going to know what the chat is. It, it's weird when you're being insulted. Uh, and, and you don't even realize it like the purpose of an insult is to cast offense, right? Like that. That's why people insult. Chad kind of sounds like Chad like, like I'm actually happy to be called a Chad But anyway, so uh, weirdo Chads, I, I guess like there's two type of Chads. There's the weirdo ones and the non weird ones Pretend people asking for female space marine want them to look right Listen, listen, I saw Baldur's Gate 3 like this is the post Baldur's Gate 3 era I know what the people who use the word Chad are being aroused by. You have absolutely no moral high ground anymore. Like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I would say you're casting stone from glass houses, but the stones are made of glass as well. I know what excites you. Don't you dare criticize my vanilla fetishes, all right? No, no. Like, you lost the conversation before it even began. So anyway, what they actually look like. In other words, uh, no change whatsoever, which justifies our point. Our point is that you are not really interested in female space marines. It's never even about the fiction, okay? Like a grown-ass man isn't this passionate about something that literally doesn't affect him. Especially when if you were championing about equality, you would want males in the female sororitas. But you don't want that. And this is how I know you do not care at all about equality or representation. What you care about is ideology. Yes, the sacred ideology of imperialist United States of America. You want to dominate every single culture you are in. You want to colonize every single hobby and shape it into your image and exclude from that hobby everyone that doesn't think like you. Right? So the moment that they would add Space Marine, it would be like a dog whistle to the other people who use Chad as an insult to start attacking, to amplify, like we want more, more, until you, do, you compare the Astartes with the evil MAGA supporters. We are not happy. Like we want politics in the most narrow sense of the word. We want you to compare the orcs with the MAGA people. We, we want you... To use your business as a megaphone for our ideology, right? And, and the moment, the moment that they will have female space marines is like the moment that the Archangel Gabriel is blowing his horn and breaking the first seal of the apocalypse. We have seen it already with other IPs. Like, you, you can't even pretend that this doesn't happen. We, we have seen the downgrade in quality. The downgraded entertainment from other IPs, like look at Dungeons and Dragons, they're not even adding things anymore. They're just removing things more and more. World of Warcraft, they just remove stuff from the game. The character editor from Diablo 4 makes me gouge my eyes out when I look at the female characters. The male characters are okay for some reason. Same with Mortal Kombat 1, right? So, like, we know what you guys do. Like, it, it has been done, you know, in 2016 when people were unaware was a different story, but now it is the present time. We know what you're interested. We know what you do. And here you have Carl Benjamin gatekeeping, standing at the gates, and has put he him in a state of shock and dismay. He doesn't know what to do. He's going to now call Sargon a tourist. 
Like initially, someone asked, uh, does Sargon have any interest in 40k? What is this culture war nonsense? Sargon surprisingly does have an interest in 40k. He pays the figurines with his son. Uh, he has played 40k games with me online. Uh, Gladius, I think it was called. The last one is like a civ, like a civilization game, but it has 40k. Sargon is autistic, wants to play it with the AI. I'm like, well, if you play it with the AI, we never get to do battle with each other, so it's boring. Like, but but no, he, he just wanted to play with the AI, so because of that, I never play Gladius with him. But suffice to say, he is a 40k fan. He, he even played um, in a RPG with Arch and myself. Was very funny. Well, 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 it lasted for like two sessions, but like he is a 40k fan. So listen to this. Without any care or understanding of the setting, collecting armies without any understanding of the setting is literally tourism. My brother in Christ, you are the one asking for female space marines. Okay, you're not asking for them because it would make an interesting lore setting. You're not asking for them because you thought of a fascinating storyline. That would require sp female space bodies in order for the storyline to take place. The only reason you're asking them is because you want to change the hobby to make it more like the American left-leaning identity politics ideology, right? And not even that, you're not asking, as I mentioned, for masculine female sororitas. And even then, you know, how do you know that some space marines don't identify as women? Hmm? Like, it's a big universe, like, some of them could identify and they can shape the reality. They can change the perceptions of the warp and immediately you have representation. Uh, but, like, the idea of a tourist is a person that's an activist first and foremost. Like, he brings his ideology into a hobby and tries to modify that hobby to fit his ideology. Sargon is not trying to modify Warhammer 40k, he is trying to preserve it. He wants to maintain it the way it is. Which is why he is not the tourist. You are the tourist, my brother in Christ. In fact, I would even say you're not a tourist. You're a colonizer. A colonizer is someone that actually takes part in the hobby and wants to change it in order to get power, to, to get more influence upon other people. And then, you know, like, th these are the people that are like, yes, actually, Aragon was black. Is there any reason for the storyline? No. Does it add anything? No. Why? To upset the chads. Like, like your entire existence, your entire life revolves around the chads. Without the chads, what would you be? Who would you be as a human being if the chads were... How would you even set your morality? I would be very interested to know. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.